Rebecca from Hillbilly Half Acre Homestead. And in just a few minutes, Dad's going to show me how to show how to pose some rabbits. And so stick around, and you can learn too. Chuck and Rebecca here, Hillbilly Half Acre Homestead. Sis was just asking me some questions and it reminded me that, well, I've had some other people ask me some questions and there's videos that I haven't gotten to yet and, you know, uh, if I haven't got, if you've asked a question or something and I haven't gotten to you yet, um, submit that again to me, however you did it, message or email or whatever. It could be that I overlooked it or I just plain forgot. So people do that. Uh, we, we, it's not because we just ignored you. Uh, it's, it, your question, however you sent it, could have gotten lost in the shuffle. So please resubmit those. We'll get to them. Or if you've got new ones. Uh, anyways, so sis, she wanted to know, how do we pose a bunny? And Bianca graciously has offered to help us out here. Since she's a professional anyway, we thought, you know, now, normally, normally, <laughs> you got a little work. Uh, we had Marcy out here, and we were just kind of, we were just kind of practicing and what have you, but we, uh, we got Bianca out here now, and, you know, to pose Bianca, pretty much, you pick her up, you set her down on the table. You see what Bianca did? Yeah, she posed. Um, and of course, you know my opinion's biased because, you know, this is Bianca and I just love her and all this stuff. But uh, honestly, when you have a nice, tight, uh, you know, a, a good rabbit, uh, you don't have to do a lot. Set them down. They'll take care of it themselves. But that doesn't mean we don't need to know how to do it, okay? So what we're going to do, what we do, take and put your rabbit down, set it, set it on those back feet. Make sure those back feet are flat on the table. Okay. Now, right here, see where these little toes are? See this big round hip joint right here? These toes, and sometimes she'll get a little bit overzealous, but for the most part, she'll get it right. Right here, these big round hip joints. These big, we call it the knee joint, or you can call it the knee joint. I've heard it called that. These big round bones right here. The front of it here. That's where your toes should be, on the back feet. Right there. Easy, Bianca, we're not done, sugar. You take it easy. Yeah, but you're sitting right, okay? Now, when you're posing them, they've got elbows on the front legs here. See those elbows? Those elbows do not need to be pointed up at the sky, okay? Those elbows, those legs need to be flat on the table, okay? The front toes, See where the front toes are right here? They're right below the eyes. See? That's where you want them. Now your rabbit's pose. Now, on a rabbit like this, it's not really necessary, but the point is, the better your rabbit is, the judge is gonna know, okay? This rabbit, she has shown in five shows, okay? And, she has taken best opposite sex variety or better in every one of them but one. Okay, so that's five different judges. Only one judge out of those five didn't like it. And to be on, and, and to be honest, in one show that judge placed her very low. A month later, that same judge play, gave her best opposite sex variety. So the rabbits change, the judges' opinions change. Okay, so. You just concentrate on taking the best rabbit you can to the show table and pretty much don't sweat the small stuff, okay? Yeah, there's a lot of technical stuff, but you can't, you know, you, you can't fight a system that, you know, has been working. Evidently, it's been working. I mean, there's beautiful rabbits. You go to, you go to an Arba show and you're definitely going to find and see better rabbits than what you see at the county fair, so... Um, so, you over tuck, here's what happens. You over tuck, okay. 
See, her toes are way up here. That bone's right here. Her toes are way up here. Okay. And so what happens is it makes this back. It makes this hindquarter seem pinched. Okay. See how that? Yeah. It's usually why I use the rug so I can just slide the rug around, but I didn't do it that time. Okay. Let's let's go this way. Okay. Get you set up here. Okay. Now when we tuck that hindquarter, look. See what happens to that hindquarter? Come here. Here, let's have a tail back. There we go. Yeah. Anyway, you go tuck those toes. Look where the toes are now. Right here? Right here. Okay, and the front of that hip joint is right here. So see how much too far forward you got those toes? Yeah, it might make your rabbit look like it's got more depth, but if it's too high and it's not wide enough, it's going to make it seem off balance, and that's one of the things that's going to get your rabbit cut the hardest and tight. Okay? Because uh, what you're looking for... Whether you got a rabbit that sits this tall on the table or this tall, it's got to balance out with its width. It's okay, sugar. Come on. It's okay, baby. We'll put you back in a minute. We're almost done. She thinks she's a movie star now and she's spoiled. <laughs> but put those toes right where they go. Now, yeah, if, if they're a little slack, you know, give them a little tuck. Don't push the tail up underneath there. That tail needs to be out and showing. See that? See that little tail right there? That's what you need. Now let's get you straightened up, sugar. Okay. Put them. Put them legs down there. And now. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Arch your belly for me a little bit. No, put you in that. Sticker. Put them down on the table. There we go. There we go. Easy. Now, okay, we got you. We got her something like that. Now, when you see this same rabbit pose on a show table, she's not going to look like this because the judges, like I said, they they squash them up a little bit more, and I just don't see the need for that. I can tell what she is and what she isn't without having to do all that at home. Um, if the judges have a need to do that, you know, to evaluate correctly, well, then that's you know, I'm not I'm not a trained arbor judge. Okay, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to tell the best I can about my rabbits at home before I take them to see an arbor judge, right? Right, children? Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's that's you know that's your posing. That's really all there is to it. Toes. I like to pick them up. Let that back arch a little bit. Set them on them back feet. Okay. Now if your back feet are right, I like to just pull them. Get your feet. Make sure they're parallel. Okay, you don't want a foot sticking out here and one sticking out there. You want them parallel. Okay, get them up underneath there. There you go. Uh, now, Bianca doesn't like me pushing her head down to the table, and it's really not necessary because basically what you're doing is you're trying to put that chin right there. Yep, yep, that chin right there. You're trying to put it right on her feet. Okay, so here, set her again. Here, sit down there. See that chin? See that chin is going to be right on top of her feet. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> okay. Okay, you spoiled rotten bunny, you. Okay, well, you hit that. No, right there. No, just right. Quick pull it. Not the feet. Not the feet. <laughs> She's funny. Lay them feet down. She elbows on the table. Okay, I know it's bad manners at the dinner table, but we're not eating right now. Okay, there you go. There. Now, ain't she a doll? Anyway, what what you're looking for, you want to evaluate this debt, or you want to... You wanna, you want to compare this depth to this width. Now, right now, the way she's sitting right here, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. There's a better way of doing it because I always move my hands. But this this depth right here should match pretty closely with this width right here. Yeah, you can use a tape measure if you want to, but who normally carries a tape measure around with them? <laughs> and, and it's not really that. It's not really that. Uh, it doesn't have to be that critical. But your compacts, pretty much any breed that you're going to be posing, the toes under the eyes, toes even with the front of the hip joint or the knee joint here, uh, the hip bone, I say hip joint, the hip bone here, or the knee. Uh, that's pretty much consistent with most breeds. Uh, not all, I don't have all. Uh, the ones I have, I have Mini Rex, New Zealand. Now we have the Oto. We have the one, uh, Lightning McQueen. They all pose with the front feet below the uh, front toes below the eyes, back toes even with the front of the 
this hip bone here. Okay, yeah, sit down here. And, but there's still going to be other differences, okay? Whereas you kind of push, whereas you kind of put her her chin down on her top of her feet there, on an Oto, you pretty much let the head, nope, not like that. Lay down there, come here, see? See how she looks stretched out? See that? Don't stretch her out. Look at here. Here, you don't want that. Doggone that. That looks like something you ought to just throw in the pot and get over with. You know, you get her all stretched out, but that's not the way she is, okay? You need to get that arch back in her back, okay? That's where, that's where that top line comes from. Oh, come on, shoulders. She's like that. <laughs> come on, shoulders, yeah. She's, I think she's sniffing the Spider-Man there is what she's doing. Right, okay, turn around. Turn. Turn, you spoiled bunny. See, that's why I get here. Scoot around here, let me have. Okay. Scoot back here. Got tail. Okay. Now see, now you're acting right. <laughs> see, there you go. But see this head right here on an Oto. Quit pulling your feet back. <laughs> uh, normally the head on the Oto, but we'll, we'll just have to show you, I guess. But feet below the eyes, toes below the eyes, not feet, toes, the tip, tip of the feet. Even with the front of the eye. Same with the back feet in the hip. In the hip bone there. Right? Bianca? We thank you for your help, sugars. You're just an old pro. You're just an old pro. Okay, now while Rebecca is getting getting our next rabbit that we're gonna Well she's already got him. <laughs> Maybe he won't crawl on my shoulder. <laughs> okay, this is Romeo, or Rome, but uh, he says only his homeboys can call him Rome. Sound like I've been watching a Fast and the Furious, don't it? Okay, anyway, now this is Ro now Romeo, just to show you, no two rabbits are the same. Hey, there's a tail. There it is. Yeah. Just to show you, no two rabbits are the same. Now, listen here. Nope. <laughs> nope. You do it my way. Come here. Now, see this? See how see how how flat Romeo is? Now look, his toes aren't quite right yet. Now, there we go. There we go. Now we got him up there. Okay. Yeah. Now we're gonna mash him back. Now see this? Now remember when I, the other day? For those of you who actually watch my videos, thank you by the way. Appreciate that. All 500 of you. Uh, hey, look. It's like this. Not too much. <laughs> All right. Now, remember the other day when I said something about Romeo having a flat butt? Look at this butt. See where this high point is? This high point is way ahead of his toes. The high point should be right above his toes, in line with the hip, the hip bone, the center of the hip bone. It's not. It's way up here. And so, what happens is he peaks way too early. And then he just rolls off of here like water off of a duck's back and he just ain't got no butt there to slow it down. He couldn't hold his jeans up if he was wearing a pair because he has no butt here. He's just a little flat. So, what do we do about that? Does that mean that Romeo is worthless? What do you think? Are you worthless? He don't know if he's worthless or not. Anyway, no, what happens is, is see that big old butt? That's Marcy. We take that big old butt and we set her up a date with Romeo here who has no butt. But, big butt, no butt. That becomes mediocre butt. But it's an improvement. It's definitely in the right direction. Now Marcy has some long shoulders. Okay? Romeo has better shoulders. Okay? See these shoulders? Look. He's got much better shoulders than she does. Okay? And so, he has better shoulders. She has a little weaker, sho longer shoulders. So, you put them together. His shoulders are, are going to be an improvement over her shoulders. So, front and back, or front and back of the rabbit, you're going to have an improvement over either parent, hopefully. And Marcy is due. Marcy is due to give birth to some little Marcy's and little Romeo's on the 23rd of this month. So, just going to throw that in there. 
that's where how do you make use of a rabbit who is who definitely has some obvious shortcomings when it comes to the show table okay well when life gives you lemons you make lemonade and that's how we make lemonade out of rabbits okay so now we'll put Romeo back Buddy. Okay. Now we're gonna sit up here with the Lightning McQueen. Okay. Are you learning this? I'm learning this. You're supposed to be learning this. I am learning this. Okay. <laughs> okay, Lightning, come here. Come here, buddy. Sit up here. Now you got his feet straight. He pretty much does it on his own too. Okay. See them feet? But you don't mash and squash. Okay, like that. Okay. You get, them, you get them pretty well right, and they're going to sit pretty well like this. Okay, get them, see the toenails right below the eyes. And pretty much when he's posed, the only dif the primary difference is, see he, see his toes are still below the eyes. His He needs to pull back just a little bit. There you go, buddy. Good job. Okay, let's get this toe fixed. All right. Now then, he's got his feet. Right here's the front of the hip joint. Right there's his toe. See? But we might can push that forward just a little bit. Make sure they're sitting flat on the table. That's what you want. You want the feet flat on the table. You don't want him sitting up on the hock, and you don't want him up on his toes on those back feet. You want him flat on the table. Okay? Good. Yeah. yeah. Here, now, let's pull. now, see, he's not squashed. But see how his head, here, pull your nose back. There, just a little bit. But see how his head is up off? You're not squashing him. You're not squashing his head down on top of his feet like that and pushing his butt to make it to make him appear to have more depth here. That's just not the way. It, that's just not Oto's. Okay. Pretty much, you set the feet. His feet are set. There they are. Something like that. Now they can, they can stretch out a little too much, but you want to make sure that you've got the toes in the right position underneath the eyes here. Do I? Yeah, pretty close. Pretty close here. Some, something like that. See, his top line still starts right here at the base of his ears. And it goes up, but it, they just don't peak. They don't peak as high, but they're not, they don't have the width. So they're still balanced, okay? Comparing an Oto to a New Zealand, that's kind of like comparing a Ford to a Cadillac. Okay, they're two different, they're two entirely different things meant for entirely different purposes. And they came from entirely different uh, bloodlines. Okay. But that's an Oto. See how simple that is? And he pretty well he pretty well knows what he's supposed to do anyway. Uh, this guy is just uh, I hope I find out that any other Otos that we end up with, I hope this is pretty well common with these rabbits that they handle this easily because I'm going to tell you I thought I thought they could be a little ball, ball of fire just like some of our Netherlands are and uh, but so far he is just as happy-go-lucky as any rabbit I've ever seen and I hope the whole breed is like that if so they will be a joy to raise a joy to show and bring and so on and so forth so, sis, you want to try? Yeah. Okay. Well, let me mess him up for you. Okay. You gonna go easy on her? Okay. You ready? Okay. Now get them, get them back feet. Reach in there and get them back feet set where they need to be. Reach this way. And get them feet, kind of like that. Okay. Move them forward. You want them. You want to. You want them long feet. You want them flat on the table. You don't want them chipping up like this on their hocks. You don't want them forward on their on their on their toes. And then make sure his body's straight. You know, his body needs to stay straight. Mm -hmm. See there? See how he's pretty well straight? Yep. You don't want him twisting and that's going to make everything just look kind of off. Yeah, there you go. Pull that toe out a little bit. Make sure his elbows are pretty pretty well down on the table. That may not that may not be that may not be absolutely necessary because he looks a bit stretched. Maybe like that. Yeah. But he. The thing is, his eyes are right above, see the tips of his toes? You got him right there. Yeah. So see, he's just, of course, always like that tail. So
still one up there. See, he's nice and sleek. Just like a new Corvette. <laughs> if you see, buddy. <laughs> Hey, if you've never if you've never had anything to do with any of these Otos, like I said, this is the first one that we've had. Hopefully, the first of more. But if they're all like this, I'm going to tell you what they're going to be a joy to have because he is just grab him, put him like you want him, and he just don't care. There's no fuss about it. He don't care. He does not. Uh, you handle him however you want to, and he don't freak out very rarely. These other guys, even though even the ones that are more used to being handled, you if you don't handle them just so-so, but you can cause them to freak out, and they will actually end up scratching the fire out of them. Uh, I've got I've got scars to prove. Uh, Name me some of them Kevlar sleeve things, but things are about twelve dollars a pair, and that's just not in my budget. Not now, anyway. Maybe one of these days when Lightning and McQueen's got a bunch of big buddies that are a bunch of children that are doing well in the show and what have you. Maybe He's like, that's long enough. That's going to be a while. Yeah, he's still pretty well sitting yeah, around. He, yeah. he just pulled his front feet back a little bit. Yeah, right there. There you go. Pretty much all there is to it. The main thing is, is you let them hold their head up off the table like that, even pose. Uh, you don't squash your head down. Mini Rexes and the New Zealands, you kind of, you kind of hold on, hold on to their head and do that. On the, on the Otos, you just more or less let them kind of raise their head up and do their own thing. But, uh, yeah, if you're looking, if you're thinking about a breed, a new breed, and you want a small breed. Like I said, if they all end up being like these, and I don't know that they are, but if they are, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy having them. We may, uh, we've been talking about possibly uh, getting rid of our uh, selling out of our Nettle Dwarf uh, line. We don't show, we don't show them yet anyway. And we thought about maybe just using that cave space to put some of these in. Uh, but nothing's nothing's definite. If somebody come up here and wanted the whole herd, I would definitely try to send them home with them. But you know, I'm not going to give them away, and I'm not going to piece them out. My problem is, is I've been working on a pro on a project with them for about uh, about three years or more, give or take, and. I'm not going to let somebody come up here and pick out two or three of the best ones out of the bunch and then not leave me with anything to work with to continue the project. So that's why it's either all or none. But if somebody wanted them all, there, I think kits and all, I think there's about ten of them. Nine or ten. But, uh, you know, Pepper, he's gone now and Pearl's going to retire. So, proven breeders right now, I've got Mouse, Squirrely Girl, and Calypso. But each one of them has two, two or three kits, and then there's also a opal who is not proven yet, but she's going to be breeding soon. And then there's one little solid black buck that I really didn't plan to keep him. Uh, he is actually, if somebody needs one, he's for sale, but he's just still here. You might enjoy. My problem is the Netherlands are just. There's just a little bit more personality there than, well, I love the personality. It's just a matter of they've got to pose a certain way, sitting upright, and you've got to have the time and the patience to teach them to do that, and I just don't have it. If that was my only breed, then yes, definitely, absolutely. But uh, we've got a couple other breeds, and, and now possibly this one, so... So we're going to show everybody how to pose a mini rex? Yeah. You hold, you hold the dirt on that board there. Yeah. Let's see, who are we going to pose?
know who this is? It's Carmel. This is Carmel. And he's Carmel because, well, he's kind of the, almost the color of Carmel. And Carmel needs a nail trim. But he is, he is a muscular little guy. He's not the absolute best uh, when it comes to certain things about the mini rex breed, but he is the absolute best caster that we have. And I know this because he is the only caster that we have. Uh, but that's not necessarily true because cast, uh, Carmel has recently become a proven. People ask me, well, what does proven mean? It means it proves that he's able to be a daddy. He, he's proven that he, he has proven that he is capable of becoming a daddy. That is what proven means. He's proven that. So, that's, if you can't remember what proven means, just remember, he's already proven that he can be a daddy. All right, right guy? Okay, now, Carmel is recently had his first children. Well, he didn't have them. Uh, Morgan had them. Carmel. Carmel was the daddy of them. And so, and Morgan gave birth to a litter of four. And at first, I thought she had a black otter. A black otter. Two casters. And a broken black. Well, then I started going through some pictures that I had of what certain variety, color variety of kits look like when they are, where are you going? When they are practically hairless and newborn and all that. And now, I, what I think Morgan has in her litter of four, I think she has one caster, two reds, and one black and orange tricolor. If it's not a tricolor, if it's a tricolor, it's a booted tricolor because it has a lot of color on it. So it'll be it'll be a DQ, but a tricolor. If we manage to produce a tricolor, that's something that we haven't ever done before. So we're going in the direction we wanted to go because we want tricolors. Okay. But I found out that Morgan is an otter-based tricolor. She's an ATA instead of an A or a large A or a beauty. See, Harlequin is supposed to be, well, that's, we need to make a gen rabbit genetics video. Let's shut up now. Anyway, we're going to, so I showed you earlier how to do it. So are you, are you, are you going to pose, are you going to pose Carmel here? I want to try. Okay. The be don't try to mix it all up. The best thing to do is work from one end and go that way. Okay. Go the opposite direction. Okay. Whichever end you start at, and then you move down here. Now, what did I tell you about the back? This is the arch. You want you want to get some arch in it. Put your, put your hand under there. Pick him up. Okay. Set him. Set him on them back feet. Sometimes okay. you have to put your hand here to keep him from backing up on you. See how he's got a little more arch in that back? Yeah. Okay. Now put his feet down there. You got his elbows. Right on. Yeah, you got to. You might have to control his head because he wants to go where he wants to go. Come here. Okay, well, it looks like that's pretty well right. His head's pretty well in the right spot. So hold his head. Now, what about his back feet? So what do you do, need to do now? Look here. See where these toes are? Yeah. Now, see? Let's do it on this side. So, See here where his toes are? Mm -hmm. Look at here where the front of the hip joint is. Uh, so what needs to happen? He needs to go up we some. need to take and tuck. Well, he's going to do it. He backed up on us, didn't he? Okay. Come here. Now, at first, folks, when you start to teach these guys and to pose and what have you, they're going to fight and they're going to try to back up. And what I have to do sometimes is I have to hang on to the mirrors or that head and show them who's boss. I'm not trying to hurt the rabbit. Okay, I just want them to understand that as soon as I'm through doing what I need to do, I'm going to release them anyway and they'll be just fine. See here? Okay. Carmel, definitely not the best, but see his eye, see his, see here, we've got his head, we've got his chin kind of on top of his paws down here. See how his legs are straight and his elbows is just 
maybe just slightly off the table here his back legs okay yeah back legs are good his toes are see right here's the front of the there's his toe they're right there where they need to be so we're just going to kind of see take see you got his you got his depth you're looking at his depth here see that depth you usually want it to match the width and because you want because you want your rabbits to have good balance okay doesn't matter flat you know if he's, they've got depth like this or if they've got depth clear up to here the width should match okay you're looking for balance okay you're not looking for an average an outrageously an outrageously deep rabbit that's only that wide that's just that's not going to look right and you don't want that okay no 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 see see he, 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 he insists on doing things his way and sometimes this is why ahead of a time for a show now you can't blame him for this you take a rabbit that's behaving like this to a show the judge might try a couple, three times to pose that rabbit. Then if he can't, he's just going to mark it low because he can't evaluate it properly, and he's going to move on. Okay? He may have a thousand rabbits to get through that day. He doesn't have time to mess with an unruly rabbit, so he's going to move on. And it, whether it's my rabbit, your rabbit, her rabbit, you can't blame the judge for that. He's got work to do, and he's got a set amount of time to get it done in. Okay? So work with your rabbits ahead of time. Pose them rabbits, okay? And you'll find out, just like with Bianca when we had her over here earlier, and uh, yeah, with Bianca, they pretty much know what you want. And she was pretty much there before I even touched her. We turned on the camera earlier, and she was already on the table, I think. And you saw, she was already pretty much, we really didn't have to do anything. And why? It's because, one, her bone structure's correct so that she can pose almost perfectly. And two, she knows what you want. You've done it enough times, she knows what you want. And she knows if you do, if she just cooperates, she knows that it's going to last a lot less time. Okay? See here? Now see? Now Carmel, Carmel's on full feed and he's a little bony. But we weren't looking for type with Carmel. Um, we got the best caster type, type uh, best caster with the best type that we could find but mainly we wanted the gene I just needed a gene to turn some rabbits that I have that are a little bit better type wise than him a lot, a lot better type wise than him to turn them this color and Morgan's got some that are in the nest box now hopefully and we will those will stay around and breed a while. Now, are you gonna now are you gonna smell Spider-Man? Uh, no, I smell Bianca. <laughs> yep, you smell dough on my shirt. <laughs> He's a good boy. He got pretty color. Look at this. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but when you blow in the fur, pretty little color rings there. There's a slate blue. There's a slate blue like hey. Hey, listen, you nibble on me, I'm gonna nibble on you. But I'm gonna cook you first. Okay. Anyway. Hey, watch where you're going there. Okay, see that? See those color lines? Okay, spread out here. You, you quit. <laughs> Nippy bunny. Anyway, see that color line in there? You've got a slate blue down the bottom. Then above that, you've got a, an orangish, rusty red looking color. It's uh, or what many would call the Rufus. And then out here on the very end, you've got you've got the black from uh, that's pretty much just on the very quit. It's just on the very tip of that fur. But you see the black. See the black. The black that you see here. It's primarily, well it is, it's on the very tips, very tip. I mean, we're talking, you know, it's probably microscopically, if you pull the hair out of there, you can see a little bit of black. But when you have that little bit of black on every bit of, on every, on every hair, but yet he has this rusty color underneath, that's, that's what gives you his color. Go on, Mr. Bumble. Okay, anyway. <coughs>
were we supposed to be talking about Castro? No, we were supposed to be posing. Anyway, I never stay on topic anyway. But, uh, but yeah, that color ring right there, like say if you had something that looked like a lilac otter, you blow in that fur and it's got rings like that in the fur, you don't have a lilac otter. You've got possibly, you've got possibly an opal or a lynx because it's a goody based. You have to have caster or a goody base to get those color rings. Other than that, you're going to have, uh, you're going to have a, like a self color, like where a chocolate is basically chocolate, but when you part the hair, the chocolate's going to be a lighter, you know, it's going to be a lighter color down in close to the skin, but it's not going to have the, the rings, the bands of color. Watch that. <laughs> But you've got that little ring. But when you blow into it and it makes that little crater. <laughs> won't stay that way, but anyway. That's how you that's how you can tell when you, when you can judge those rings. See he's I think he's working on a molt. But see this, he's got this band in here. I'm not really happy about keeping more in here, but We'll, uh, we'll make it work. He's uh, got a gnat in my hair. He's 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 gonna stay around long enough to uh, we can get some casters going. It looks like I ended up with something that I didn't intend, but it's looking like uh, possibly Morgan's got a couple of reds in her in her nest box, and that is just super, super, super. I love the reds, right, Marcy? We love the reds, don't we? <laughs> but uh, I never, never owned a, never owned a uh, mini retro red. So, um, unfortunately, the ones that I have, they're still a little bit young. So there's a possibility they could be torts. Uh, not seeing any color on the ears yet, but I am seeing a little bit of rust growing in on the fur. So um, there's a possibility they could be, they could be black torts. But I prefer the reds. I don't really care much for the torts. They will be what they're going to be. So, okay, I hope this helps somebody. Um, got any questions, folks? We, you know, we're, we're wanting to put, put together some kind of a Q&A video for you guys, but I don't know what you want to know. Uh, but I've answered some questions in the past, but truly that's not all of them. So, if you've got more questions, you know, help us out. Let us know what to put in a video. What? How can we help you? You know, help us help you. So, uh, let us know. Okay. Uh, look up Hillbilly Half Acre Homestead on Facebook, guys. We've got a we've got a little page on there, and we'd love to have you like that page and follow that page. Uh, you're welcome to post pictures of your rabbits, and and you can ask questions on there. There's not just we're, I mean we're there, but there's I don't know. There's a good couple. I don't remember how many people are following that page currently, but. I think there's right, right around two or three hundred on there that could probably, uh, you know, and they can help you. Uh, we, we're on there uh, right now. I think it's uh, myself and Dana and Becca. We're all three uh, moderating the page or overlooking the page or whatever you want to call it. And we'll yeah. whoever gets to your question first can't answer it well then we'll get together with the other ones and just see what's going on but uh, here in the family I have been with the rabbits the longest uh, but if the girls can help you out then they will definitely make sure that I see it chances are I'm probably going to see it myself anyway but they will bring it to my attention love to have you guys on there All, we're always posting pictures and stuff in more real time you know it takes a lot more time to get a video out and what have you and get it get it published for you guys but uh, we can snap a few pictures and type a little text to go with it and we can post that sometimes it's three or four times a day but usually at least daily uh, we'll post something on there that might be of interest to anybody that uh, primarily rabbits just like the channel but when we got something happening with chickens and Ducks and I think we had some cats on there the other day. And what have you? Yeah, we had we had a, we had some kind of a little some kind of a critter that we couldn't identify on there the other day. That sort of stuff. But 
Anyway, we love you guys, and we thank you for watching. Um, you know, folks, I've noticed, too, that, you know, we've got almost 5,000 subscribers to this channel, and a lot of our videos don't even get 500 views. Uh, and I think what a lot of that is, is I think there's a chance that a lot of you guys that have subscribed to the channel... Uh, I think what happened is, is, is you're not getting the notifications like you should because, but you go up there next to where you hit the subscribe button on our channel's homepage and put, click that little bell, and click that little bell and the box will pop up and you got to check the box and tell it you want to push and email notifications and you and that's that's how you make sure that you're going to get the email notification that uh, that we're going to poop on my table with Mary. Got poop on your table? He's also giving kisses. Yeah? Yep. Yeah, he's a lover. He's a lover boy. And uh, anyway, you do that, and it'll make sure you get those notifications. Uh, here lately, folks, we've been posting at least a video a week. I still haven't committed to a set day of the week. But if you wouldn't mind. He's <laughs> over there something. If you wouldn't mind, write down in the comments. If we were to commit to a day of the week to post at least a video on a set day of the week every single day or every single week on that day, what day would it be? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, one of the one of the other weekdays? What works best for you? You know, if we were to commit to a day, what day would work for best for you where you could see it right away as soon as it's posted? And what time of that day? You know, noon? Noon, seven o'clock, prime time, you know, bedtime. What works for you? You know, just kind of curious. Uh, you know what? You know what works for everybody? Uh, because, but here's the thing: if we commit to a day of the week and a certain time to publish new videos every week, that doesn't mean that that's the only time we're going to publish. Because there will still be times when, when I have a video and it's ready. I may not want to wait two weeks to publish it. I may go ahead. If I'm normally publishing videos on, say, Friday evening at 7 o'clock, I may, I'm, and I got something ready on Tuesday morning, I may go ahead and post it, you know, rather than wait until a week from this coming Friday or something or wait until Friday. But uh, let us know what works for you. We're pretty flexible around here. We try to be. If we can't be, we'll certainly get good explanation as to why. But... All right, y'all hit the like button, subscribe, ring that little bell if you haven't already. Uh, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. Bye.